Welcome, mortals. I, Craven Wicked Crane, here on this special season because this will be the finale of the show. And I think it's time for you mortals need to know about myself in life, how I became to be, and how this show is really all about. <clears throat> Prepare the story that you're about to be heard, a tale from this fellow top hat bird. How this bird became to be, follow along with me. I was born in Lantern's village, lived in a manor where all the crooked trees are around. My dearest parents, little sister, and my dear uncle, all born cravenous hybrid birds, part cranes and part ravens, and that's how I got my name, of course. Craven Burton Wicked Crane. <sighs> Look how young I was. The first child of the family of Wicked Crane. These are my beloved parents. My father, Edgar Wicked Crane, who is a fencer, owner of the Paul's Library, and a great writer. My mother, Sally Ellen Wicked Crane, who is a dancer. Spencer, as well as my father, and mixologist for humans and animals. And my little sister, Saturday Wicked Queen, who is adventurer, studied mythical experiments, and TikTok chick. <laughs> and certainly my uncle, Jasper Wicked Queen, but we called him Jabs, Uncle Jabs. He's a bit plump, almost like a cold and raw turkey. Insanely genius of mad scientist who invented things that brings back from the dead and hybrid creatures to life. But we still love him the most. And that's all the Wicked Crane family. We are the storytellers, quite a poet, about creepy and ghoulish stories. That brings us all together. <laughs> There's a little secret that you don't know about my whole family. We are born not only of quite spooky and storytellers, but gained powerful as we are wizards and witches. Also, we have a magical abilities of shape shifting into other creatures, and most of all, Guizmo Wilmo. You see, it runs in the family. <laughs> of course, I like to call it Craven Bears. My whole family agreed. We befriend to the Grismos as they welcome us to join them. Gathering for the Grismos Halloween traditions, telling spooky stories, carved the pumpkins, and we danced through the night around the fire. We are gifted with powers and mostly curses, which is simply divine. We can control our powers as we want, only to use it responsibly for special occasions. <laughs> as the past season ago, I was in three parts episode of the Grafen Bear. Ah, <sighs> that was a fun back there. It's terrified as they learn their lessons. In my youthful age, me and my sister Saturday was accepted in the Magical Academy for humans, animals, and Hyperdeans, witchcraft, and wizardry. As I said before, we gained powerful as wizards and witches, so that makes me a wizard too, didn't I? Learning magics and spells, studied history, science. And herbology, and most of all, shape shifting lessons. And that's where I met my dear friend, Mackerel Badger, who is also a shape shifter as well, into Guizmo, which he prefer himself, Big Mike. We come a long way together. Ah, those are the good old days. Even I was the popular student in the Magical Academy. 
when we using this magic door to the woods for a classroom to the monsters that we can see, which it will inspire me to create some stories about them. In this classroom has woods inside, who run by the monstrous shapeshifter, form of the Guissimo, <laughs> which of course the only teacher in Magic Cow Academy is a Professor Buxton Dracotooth. He's like Beaver in Dracula altogether. <laughs> He's teaching us about legends of the monsters, the spiritual ghosts, even. On Halloween, I admire the tales, which has also inspired me. So I decided to create my own stories involves monsters of my own. Even Professor Dragontooth encouraged me to do so, to live to tell a tale, a spooky tale. <laughs> Through the years, I see many people who's bullied everyone. Treated from dysfunctional family and quite possibly irresponsibilities from liars and idle people, especially greedy. That's how I got a pitch for this story about monsters and ghouls haunting everyone who's being naughty, greedy, and doing all the bad things. Some is all just a dream and safe, but. Some are not. That goes to show them about their greed, and dysfunctional will soon be taught a lesson. Like my father, who is a storyteller and shapeshifter, who also proud of me the way I make the story like that. I can tell the stories and frightening everyone, all through Halloween. I see everyone watching videos on YouTube these days, and I'm only here to tell stories, the spookiest stories, just like my father. So I've decided, in a ghoulish way, that I'd make my own videos on YouTube channel in 2019, called Craven Wicked Queen Halloween Tales, which of course is hosted by yours truly. <laughs> So everybody can watch it. In the past few years, through a case of virus, five seasons later, it's the least best but greatest Halloween stories that little ones, even young and old, can ever see. They love my spookiest stories ever, that they can pass it on to others, just for fun. And tonight. I would like to have a little treat for you all from the moment of the seasons of the Craven Wicked Queen's Halloween Tales, hosted by me, Craven Wicked Queen. Tricks for delightful treats to remember by when walking down through the streets. It's farewell, but not forever. We still be here to be seen. We'll be everywhere, even on your door, on every Halloween. <laughs> Ha 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 